Hello friends, today we will look into different types of pruners and garden cutting tools and by the end of the video you should be able to decide which gardening cutter or pruner is best suited for your gardening level. Also at the end there is an interesting quiz question for you to answer, all that's coming up. If you are a hobby gardener or interested in growing plants, consider subscribing to this channel. Also turn on the notification bell icon so that you won't miss any updates. Pruners also called as pruning shears or hand pruners or secateurs or even garden scissors are a type of cutting tools for use on plants and gardening. Pruning is one of the most important and useful practice in gardening that needs to be performed irrespective of the type of plant that you are growing in your garden. Whether ornamental plant or flowering or fruiting plant, these cutting or pruning practices are indispensable for your plant health and you should never avoid pruning on emotional grounds. You all must be aware of the benefits of pruning, whether to get rid of diseased branches or to promote branching and plant growth or even improving flowering and fruiting. We will not go into the details of benefits of pruning right now. But in this video, we will learn about the different types of pruners or cutting tools we use in home gardening. There are many gardeners and beginners who are not aware of the correct type of pruners they require. It is important to note that using the wrong pruners might adversely affect your plants instead of improving them. So now let's look at the different types of pruners. Hand pruners or hand shears. These are the most commonly used cutters in home gardening. These are of two types, anvil pruners and bypass pruners. Anvil pruners have a straight upper blade that cuts against a flat lower blade that looks like an anvil. Anvil means a heavy iron block on which hot metals are beaten into shape. Well, these anvil pruners tend to crush the stem as they cut and are best for woody branches that won't be harmed by crushing. So remember to use them only on woody or semi-woody branches and not soft branches that can be crushed. Then bypass pruners have curved scissor like blades that overlap. These are ideal for cutting younger and softer branches. These are the commonly used pruners actually in home gardening. Also they are the best for making stem cuttings at 45 degree cutting angles that is for propagation of plant from stem cuttings. Then lopping pruners or lopping shears. These are similar to hand pruners but have long handles that provide a little more reach than uh, hand shears and they are best suited for heavy duty pruning for up to 3 fourth or uh, even 1 inch diameter cuttings. Again these are of two types that is anvil and bypass type. Then Pole pruners. Pole pruners are made up of blades attached to hooks. These hooks are mounted on long poles and a chain or cord controls the blade which is usually spring loaded. Pole pruners can typically reach branches that are 12 feet or more above the ground. These are typically used when the, uh, the use of ladder is not possible. Then hedge pruners or hedge shears. These are designed for rapid trimming of hedges. Hedge means a boundary or fence formed by closely growing bushes or shrubs or even grass. The hedge shears come in a variety of sizes and designs. They have a long straight or angled blade that are sharp enough to cut several branches at one shot. The longer blades of hedge shears ensure an even cut across the plant branches to maintain a neat and balanced border that is hedge. You can also use them to make a neat border of uh, many other plants as well like uh, the bougainvillea bush and uh, stuff like that. Then pruning saw. Even these come in variety of sizes and blades with uh, teeth that can be fine or coarse teeth and even a folding type like this one which is available in the market. This looks pretty handy and sturdy for gardening purpose. These are typically used for stems that are more than one and a half inches in diameter which are usually too large for hand pruners or lopping shears. You can find the links to purchase these items from our website that is gkvk.in. Then flower cutter also known as uh, floral snips. This is a simple bypass pruner to cut small branches or flowers. These are lightweight and have spring system and they are best for performing deadheading and also pinching technique that is for more branching and making your plant more bushy. I am sure you all must be aware of what is deadheading and its benefit. You can watch a separate video on what is deadheading and its benefits from a link at top right corner of this video. Then the ratchet pruners. These actually reduce the effort of pruning. The ratchet action reduces hand fatigue and allows you to cut 
thicker stems easily. These pruning shears are perfect for anyone with hand problems or hand injuries or those who want extra power while cutting. An oil well mechanism at the base of the handle usually does this trick. Last but not the least, a simple scissor does a lot of job. I am sure all of you agree with this. This is quite handy and most useful tool in gardening, particularly home gardening. Now finally, the quiz question of today's video. What is the name? What is the other name for this pruner? A small hint. It starts with a bird's name. Please answer this by writing in the comment box below the video. Please give a thumbs up to the video if you like the video and also share the video with your friends. Consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!